Hi, this is Halal. In this video on mathematical economics series, we will discuss about the LM curve derivation by the algebraic method. I will uh, try to keep this video very simple. First of all, this L stands for liquidity preference and M stands for money supply. This LM curve shows us different combinations of rate of interest to add income where demand for money is equal to supply of money. Or in other words, we can say LM shows us the money market equilibrium. That is, uh, if we graph this out, if on this axis we write income and here we write the interest rate. Now this LM curve shows us different pointers, different combinations of pointers. Let us say we have here I1 and Y1. Here we have I2 and Y2. So this LM curve shows us different uh, combinations of rate of interest and income where demand for money demand for money is equal to supply of money or we can say it is a locus of pointers of different combinations of rate of interest and income and every point on this lm curve shows us is a point where demand for money is equal to supply of money now first of all we know that or let's assume this ms is fixed let us assume this money supply is fixed so it is fixed or we can say it is an exogenous variable here exogenous variable uh, this money supply as we know is fixed by some central authorities in america uh, the federal reserve controls the money supply in india it is the rbi which controls the money supply similarly in pakistan it is the state bank state bank of pakistan which controls the money supply and we assume here this money supply is fixed okay now if it is fixed we have the money demand demand for money has two components that is demand for money has two components the first is the transactionary demand for money and second one is speculative demand for money second one is our uh, speculative demand for money so i will uh, i will write it uh, as sm okay so money depend uh, money uh, sorry uh, money demand is composed of two items that is the transactionary demand for money and speculative demand for money okay now First, this transactionary demand, we will uh, elaborate this transactionary demand for money. Demand for money, uh, this transactionary demand for money is the positive function of income. That is, when our income rises, that is, this implies when income rises, transactionary demand for money also rises. Okay? Or we can write uh, transactionary demand for money is equal to k times y okay that is transactionary demand for money is the positive function of income and here this k stand, stands for the sensitiveness sensitiveness of uh, transactionary demand for money on income it shows us this k shows us how much transactionary demand for money is sensitive to change in the income let us say uh, this k is uh, let us say this k is equal to 0 0.2 okay then uh, transactionary uh, demand for money will say as that if there is hundred dollars change in income if uh, income changes by uh, if income increases by hundred dollars let us say transactionary demand for money will increase by uh, 0 0.2 times hundred that is equal to 20 so our transactionary demand for money will increase by 20 so this k shows us uh, the sensitiveness or how much the transactionary demand for money uh, is sensitive uh, to the change in the income if the value of k is here 0 0.2 that means any hundred dollars increase in income will lead uh, the transactionary demand for money to increase by twenty dollars okay this is the first component now our second component is the speculative demand for money speculative demand for money so i will write sm 
it is the negative function of the rate of interest i will write minus h times i that means speculative demand for money has a negative relationship with the rate of interest okay that means if the uh, if interest rate uh, so i will write if interest rate increases speculative demand for money will decrease there is negative relationship between uh, speculative demand for money and rate of interest here this h shows us uh, this h shows us the sensitiveness of speculative demand for money with respect to investment okay uh, in uh, in this case we have k k shows the sensitiveness uh, here this h shows the sensitiveness uh, of speculative demand for money with respect to interest rate okay uh, rather we can say how much speculative demand for money will change when there is change in the interest rate this h shows us the magnitude of the change okay now coming uh, to our uh, uh, our model we have demand for money is equal to supply of money so i will write here uh, demand for money is equal to supply of money okay uh, let us for the sake of simplicity we say this uh, money supply is hundred dollars or hundred million dollars let us say ms is money supply is hundred dollars okay hundred dollars then this means uh, our money demand is given by then uh, then money demand is given by k times y minus h times i is equal to hundred dollars that is demand for money is equal to supply of money let us say uh, this uh, transactionary demand for money is fifty dollars okay and uh, speculative demand for money is also fifty dollars then fifty plus fifty is equal to hundred okay now if the rate of interest increases that means if uh, if the rate of interest increases naturally this speculative demand for money will decrease speculative demand for money will decrease let us say it uh, decreases to 40 okay here it is to be seen if rate of interest increases as we know there is negative relationship between rate of interest and speculative demand for money earlier it was uh, speculative demand for money was 50 when the rate of interest increases speculative demand for money decreases let us say it decreases to 40 dollars okay now to attain equilibrium now if this becomes here 40 then this transactionary demand for money should increase so that we are back in the equilibrium because total money supply is 100 we should get on lhs 100 so uh, if the speculative demand for money decreases to 40 that means our transactionary demand for money that is our transactionary demand for money should increase to 60 to attain equilibrium that is any decrease in the speculative demand for money is compensated by the increase in the transactionary demand for money to attain equilibrium okay so our transactionary demand for money should increase by 60 that means we will get 60 uh, plus 40 is equal to 100 so when the speculative demand for money uh, i will repeat here if our uh, if rate of interest increases speculative demand for money will decrease as there is negative relationship and we assume it decreases to 40 now our transactionary demand for money should increase up to 60 because 60 plus 40 should be equal to 100 because our money supply is 100 we should get uh, that uh, demand for money also uh, the 100 since the speculative demand for money has decreased our transactionary demand for money should increase but when will the transactionary demand for money increase transactionary demand for money will increase only when the income increases okay i will write uh, transactionary demand for money will increase 
will increase only when when income increases okay that means that implies it is to be understood here if our rate of interest increases okay if rate of interest increases dim uh, that is income should also increase uh, to be back uh, into the equilibrium so that we get the equilibrium that means there is positive relationship between rate of interest and income in the lm curve or we can say lm curve is a locus of pointers locus of pointers in money market which shows us the money market equilibrium okay now now let us derive this uh, the uh, the equation for uh, the lm curve first of all as we have seen here demand for or money supply is equal to sorry it is a superscript here money supply should be equal to money demand okay but we are uh, this is the nominal uh, supply of money we will divide it by p let us assume this price is constant so this will give us real money supply should be equal to it should be equal to our uh, demand for money uh, we have shown it is equal to k times y minus h times i so i will write k times y minus h times i that is money supply should be equal to money demand now let us uh, solve this further we will solve this for the rate of interest uh, so this will become we will transpose this h times i on lhs and we will take this on rhs so this will become positive h times i is equal to k times y this will become minus m by p which is the real money balance okay or our i is equal to our i is equal to that is equal to k divided by this h times y minus minus uh, 1 divided by h times m by p here it is fixed so this is the relationship between this is the relationship between uh, the rate of interest and income or we can write it as i is equal to minus 1 by h m by p plus k by h times y so this is our lm equation here this is our lm equation lm equation now we will see uh, the what that uh, these uh, uh, what are these parameters or what these numbers determine here okay first of all this minus 1 divided by h or this very term gives us the intercept of the lm curve so i will show i will try to show it here if this is our income and here we have rate of interest this uh, very thing gives us the intercept of the lm curve so the our lm curve will look like this okay this shows us the intercept here this h this h determines this h determines whether uh, or we can say it determines the slope it will determine whether our slope is flat or flat or steep that is this h determines uh, this very h determines the slope of the lm lm curve okay here we can see if the value of h is small and small compared to k when h is small then slope will be flat okay if l is large if this h sorry is large our um, lm curve will be steep because this will become smaller 
ओके नाउ डिमांड फॉर रियल मनी बैलेंस डिपेंड्स ऑन द रियल रियल इनकम एंड इंटरेस्ट रेट एज वी नो हियर दिस पैरामीटर के वी कैन सी दिस पैरामीटर के शोज अस हाउ मच डिमांड फॉर रियल मनी बैलेंस इंक्रीज वेन द लेवल ऑफ इनकम राइज सो आई विल राइट दिस पैरामीटर के शोज हाउ मच हाउ मच डिमांड हाउ मच डिमांड फॉर रियल मनी रियल मनी बैलेंस बैलेंस इंक्रीज इंक्रीज वेन लेवल of income rises when income rises okay similarly this h so i will write this h will also as show us how this will show us how much how much demand for money how much uh, how much demand for money demand for real money balance real money balance let us say decreases it will show real money balances are uh, decreases when when interest rate increases okay as we have seen here and uh, this k uh, in the transaction demand for money is related to the income and this uh, our this h is related to the interest rate here uh, there is the positive relationship between Uh, the transactionary demand for money and income if income increases transactionary demand for money increases and k shows as the sensitiveness of the transactionary demand for money with respect to income here uh, in the speculative we are uh, speculative demand for money here uh, there is negative relationship between uh, the speculative demand for money and rate of interest uh, and this as shows as the sensitiveness of the speculative demand for money with respect to interest rate okay so our is uh, this lm curve looks like this this will give us the intercept this minus 1 by h divided by m by p will give us the intercept of the lm curve and our slope will be k by h k by h and our lm curve is minus 1 by h m divided by p plus k by h h times y okay now here we as we have seen this k the coefficient of the income is positive that means uh, this lm curve will be upward sloping if it was here negative if it was here negative then our um, lm curve would have been downward sloping since it is here positive it shows Mm, the lm curve has the positive slope or it is upward sloping okay that means we can also see here higher income requires higher interest rate for money market to be in equilibrium that means if interest rate decreases income should increase to be back in the money market equilibrium so that we get the equilibrium okay also we can infer here one uh, thing if demand for money is not sensitive to the level of income that is now if uh, this k is very small okay then sorry uh, this k will be very small if uh, the demand for money is not very much sensitive to the income then the value of k will be very small okay so you can infer many things in this i hope i make myself clear in this video in the next video we will show the graphical uh, depiction of the lm curve and i will try myself very best to make the things very uh, simple so that you get an idea how to derive the lm curve and what is the intuition behind it so uh, i i am sent person sure that you will get you will uh, uh, get uh, the idea of the lm curve in a very simple language i will try to explain uh, this subject matter thank you